What's up boys and girls, how are you doing today? My name is Courtney J and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having a good day. Now today I actually have a very special guest. I have my dad and I'm going to be talking about a very requested video by you guys and that is my coming out to my dad and his actual feelings around the whole situation. Now I know personally from my experience that it's not very easy to come out to your dad. Obviously there's a lot of expectations, a lot of worries when it comes to coming out to your parents and your dad is usually one of the harder parents to come out to. So without further ado, I'm gonna introduce you to my dad. Dad, do you wanna say hello to everybody? Hiya, how you doing? So dad, when I came out to you, I decided to write it on a whiteboard rather than saying it because I kind of choked up. Is there anything you felt could have been done better with that situation? I don't know, I mean, I don't know what you expected me to say or do. But I think that my reaction was totally the opposite to what you thought it was going to be. So my dad was really good about the situation. He came upstairs, he gave me a hug, he said everything's going to be okay. I was crying a lot because it was a really emotional situation for me to go through. And then we just went out for some food and we had a little bit more of a conversation in depth about this, the whole thing, what had just happened. Now in the following week I came out to the whole, like the internet on Facebook and everything. And mm. your reaction kind of changed a little bit. Uh, do you want to talk about that a little bit? Well, although I was fine with it, because you're my son, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter what your sexuality is. I had to absorb what you told me. You didn't give me a chance to do that. And I would rather have told my family than you just go and tell everybody <laughs> all in one go, you know, because it, it's quite a big thing for me too. Um, I'm not homophobic, but I just, it was it was a big thing to absorb, yeah? Okay, so um, obviously I made a video like this with mom, um, yeah. and she said she wasn't surprised, she kind of expected it from a young age. Is there any, um, anything did you pick up when I was a child that I might be a little bit different from everybody else in my sexuality or how I acted? No, because to me, you are my little boy, you've always been my little boy, and I never thought of your sexuality, to be honest. Um, but when you did come out, I, I wasn't surprised. I don't know why I wasn't surprised. I actually chuckled when I saw it wrote on the board and I thought, why has he wrote it on the board and ran up the stairs? And then when I came up the stairs and he was crying, I, then I started to understand it was quite a big thing for you anyway. Um, but yeah, I sort of knew. I was expecting you to say you was gay, actually. <laughs> okay. So um, I had quite a big build up to obviously coming out to you. I'd come out to a few other people beforehand. Mm. I'd come out to mum before you, and you were like the last person I had to tell. Yeah, that was annoying. And kind of break, <laughs> kind of break through that wall. Um, yeah. Uh, you say it's annoying, but I, I think you could kind of understand why you were the last person I had to tell because it was kind of like you were the the one who I really wanted to accept it over everybody else. Like you were like the main person because obviously we've been so close over the years. I wanted mm. you to understand that that was me and I didn't want anything to be different between us. And I felt like if I did go in and say it to you and you had a bad reaction, like it would kind of destroy me in a way. All right, okay. As I said, it, it would, nothing would have changed. Nothing has changed. If anything, things are better between us. Yeah. So a lot of my audience haven't come out yet, and um, obviously being a parent who's had a child come out, um, I know there's a lot of people who are worried about their parents, obviously we, they live in different countries, different yeah. expectations, religion, that sort of thing comes yeah. into a big factor of it. Is there anything what you would suggest to them on how you would like to be, if you if it were to go back again, I was to come out to you, is there any way that you would want it to be done differently? No, not really. Um, as for other people, See this religion thing, it, it it causes a lot of problems, and uh, uh, you know a lot of old school. As in myself, I'm old school, but I'm not religious. But I'm a, I'm a man's man. We're, you know, I come from the school of hard knocks, and and that's who that's who we are. And to have a son come out and tell me that, and then uh, my friends have joked about it, but I, I've said to I've said to them, or if it was your son, and they've they've said to me the same thing as what I've been with you. You know, it's my son at the end of the day wouldn't be happy about it but it's one of them do you know what I mean whereas me I'm not unhappy about it or happy about it I'm just happy that you're happy so 
Soon after I came out, I made a coming out story. Um, I remember me coming down to see you and you'd watched it and you had yeah. a few tears in your eyes. Yeah. Um, how did that make you feel? Because obviously I, I do suggest it to some people if they can't write it down and they can't say it in words, maybe make a video because it allows you to get your point yeah. across without kind of being interrupted or having any of that. They can just sit and watch it and kind of absorb it. How did you find that as a parent watching that? Yeah, it was quite touching actually. Um, I don't think we ever had, had any depth of conversation like that. And then watching the video, it really, it really hit me there. And um, I think not just about coming out, just about any, any, any issues that any any teenagers have got, they should speak to their parents. And as Courtney said, make a video if you can't speak to them because it could save a life. Courtney was very depressed, and I didn't know. Yeah, I got quite into a kind of a sad place with how it was making me feel. Not just from that, from other things as well, but that was a big part because I always felt like I was kind of hiding who I was. Um, and coming out does make that big difference. You do feel like you've kind of taken off the mask, I guess. Like, it's not that you actually change in any way. It's just that you're more confident being what you are. And you don't want to, you know, when you jump into a conversation, you don't feel like, oh, I can't say that. Or I don't want to say that. I don't want to come across gay. I don't want to come across you know, anything what kind of gives that signal, I guess. Um, where now I can just I speak freely to people, I'm happy to talk, I can talk to anybody, because I don't feel like that judgment's there, you know, because they know who I am, and I'm just happy being who I am. But anyway, guys, did you like that video? If you did, please give it a massive thumbs up. Uh, maybe give it a share, because it might help some people out. Um, obviously, this is my dad. Um, I know you guys requested this video a lot, and... Um, I want to say thank you to my dad for actually coming on because it's it's not always an easy topic to talk about um, and I think you, you've done it really well. It's hard to be on camera when you're not used to being on camera directly like this. <laughs> um, so thank you and uh, if there's anything else you want to know about, if you want to talk to me in any way, I'm always here in the comments. I, I try and respond to everybody and uh, yeah, I hope you can get through this coming out experience. And if you do, it's better to do it while you're young and then you can live your life than doing it old. But if you're old and you still want to come out, do it because it will make a huge difference in your life and you will have no regrets. But anyway, guys, I'm going to say love, peace. Yeah, see, you the first person who's got that straight away. And chicken grease. I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching.